All right, it's time to change up this five ton ream condenser. We're real tight quarters here. I got to take this gate down. It's gonna be a lot of. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna change it out. It's going to be a two stage R A R L O sixty one J E Z. So I got to prep this condenser to take it out of here. And it's ready to come out. It's a uh, R A M B O six O J A Z. But it's uh, seen hard times. You can look at that label on that compressor. It's been running liquid back. It doesn't uh, help with all the leaves back in the corner over here, blocking the airflow and, and the, uh, the uh, tarp on the gate there. It doesn't help it. We've got the uh, condenser uh, set into place, and I took some of the, uh, or I took the side off the, uh, the the skirting that they had. So this uh, is five-ton uh, condenser, so. Need 12 inches all the way around. I think it's like 10 inches in the back, but um, I got to put the assemble the gate, so it's gonna be close quarters in here. But uh, this is the RA RLO 61, so it has a uh, two-speed uh, fan motor. Comes with the uh, ZP S49 K5 Copeland scroll compressor, two-stage, so they can. So they squeeze out about another thousand BTUs using the, the K5 and it's a double roll double roll coil and oh, this also has a crankcase heater on it too there's a crankcase heater on the 5 ton model they line that they line the bl uh, blanket compressor blanket because of the heat and this is the sensor so when the it's uh, low ambient conditions it'll turn on the crankcase heater and the uh, JEZ board actually has a timer on it, so uh, once the compressor shuts down, there's a, a two-hour timer. So if the unit shuts down for two hours and it's low ambient conditions, the crankcase heater is going to turn on. And I got my uh, dual transformer set up, and because I only have two wires going to the uh, the condenser right now, so I had to do the dual transformer setup. But it's going to be uh, I got a. It's going to be a great unit. I just got to assemble the fence, put it back together, and uh, should be up and running pretty soon. This is a beautiful thing. I got the condenser running right now, and um, it's a long line set on that five ton. I, I got, I initially put three pounds in there. I'm going to add, it's probably going to take a couple more pounds so the sub cooling's down uh, pretty low. Um, it's cooling fine, but uh, it's a nice cold day out, or cooler, 72.3. Um, but I'm looking at, uh, let's see, 75, I'm looking at uh, 276, 126. I'm looking at, I'd like it to be at 15 degrees sub point, so I'm going to play around with it and put it where I want it. But uh, not too bad right now. Couple more pounds and it'll it'll be uh, ready to go. Those are my final pressures. 15.8. It go, it goes back down a little bit. It's, it was at 276 a while ago, but we're gonna we're gonna keep that um, almost 16 degrees sub cooling. But uh, it's a double roll coil holds a lot of refrigerant, so there's a lot of sub cooling here. But uh, it looks uh, pretty good. I'm happy with it. Final test is up and running. I'm gonna clean all the leaves up. I come back on uh, Monday, clean everything up, but it's it's working. It's working. Tight quarters.